Oh, my bad. Yeah. Uh, what I've noticed on the the line, one of many pages, the delusional batshit theory conspiracy truth or fringe groups, you know, there's plenty of names for them, but those top three ring out, have created in order to sound legitimate. However, it does not hide them from their extremist minority nature. And the Line Canada, or the Line International is what it's called on YouTube, is basically just that. And I've noticed that they delete negative comments. Anybody calling them out will get their comments deleted and they will get blocked from the channel. That's what happens. That's how much they censor your comments. Yeah, they decry censorship when something is taken down. For example, their Facebook page got ripped clean down. And how do I put this? It was because it was nothing but misinformation. It got ripped right down because of that misinformation. That's all these fringe groups actually post. Misinformation and nothing more than that. It's sad. Sorry. Now I fixed the uh, mic cover problem. Let's continue. All they post is misinformation and bogus batshit theories, including delusional, irrational rants. That's what it is. That's why QAnon keeps getting their shit taken down from Google Tube. Hence why they started their own social uh, video sharing site called Brand New Tube, Brand New YouTube, and whatever. You know how long those last, anyway, right? If they get overrun with fringe groups, they don't last too long. Most people tend to, you know, veer away from them, and they don't last about two or three years. Because you know what they need? Funding advertisements and uh, in most cases ad companies are not gonna go with batshit delusional theories no no they're not that is a big problem that is a big big problem these delusional groups delusional sorry extremist groups actually face right that is the problem they face they are delusional. They lack common sense. They denounce common sense. They denounce reality. They denounce official sources as fake. They call the medical and health professionals, non batshit doctors, nurses, authority figures, frontline workers, and uh, first responders as controlled by the government or the New World Order, or Lizard People, or Illuminati. Uh, that's actually a political fringe group, and there's way too many batshit theories around them. So to say, whew, way beyond the cuckoo's nest. But, yeah. I don't think the Light in Canada is going to last too long on Twitter, because people keep reporting them. And I don't think, and not to mention they block anyone's replies that are critical. You know, the non-delusional, the rational, the non that shit. Mm -hmm. They try and hyper-inflate their numbers at these protests. I did an actual head count. There was le at least 500. Not 4,000. Not 8,000. Not 2,000, not any more than 500. And there's the other ones were less than 200. And they're planning to have a big Halloween party at Dundas Square. Which, I don't know, it's probably just going to be shut down like... It may end up being shut down, who knows, it may be a fucking pouring rainy day. It may be bat reading cold. We may get a snow dump. I have no idea what that's going to be. And I generally stay away from their fringe websites. Sometimes I peek on it to see 
What are they planning in their extremist solutional nature? And yeah, every Saturday they moved from Queens Park, in case you didn't know. They're at Dundas Square now because hey, nobody gave a shit at Queens Park. People just drove by, biked by. They didn't care. Nobody cared, in fact. Dumbass girl. They can get the attention of everybody. They can rope in more people. Well, look how, look how that's happening. Seriously, anyone who's rational, anyone who has rational thoughts on that, not the irrational bat shit uh, fringers, will already know that. <laughs> telling others to do their own research. A main bait tactic they use to recruit people into the fringe. To delude them. To trick them. Trust me, it happened to me. It did happen to me at one point, And I got a bit. It's actually been more than 10 years since I got out. Maybe 15 years. I sort of got the math wrong because I had to... Oh, do you know how long it you know how long it took for me to get to go through all my e email to figure out when it started oh oh yeah 15 years worth of email that I purged it after yeah it's been 15 years since I got out of the batshit fringe mindset and I'm so glad although I feel really sorry for those that are trapped in it though I, I really do. I'm genuinely, I pity them. That's the why they got sucked into it and tricked into it. It could have been someone, one of their friends. It could have been a subscriber. could have been a follower on their Twitter, their face, social media. I'm just going to say because uh, around that time, uh, Facebook was more or less a freaking poster board. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't really, you know, the thing we know about what it was now. Twitter was just in its also in its infancy. Oh, fuck. My back lights unplugged. I unplugged it, that's why. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh yeah. So I don't think they're gonna last too long. If they create and clone a new YouTube, I don't think that's gonna last too long either. Hey, I'm just being realistic. The friends are delusional. They don't not. Uh, oh, wish this chair went higher. They don't believe in common sense. They reject official sources. So, what can they do? They want to compete with Google because they don't want to be censored. Well, hmm. Maybe I should join those uh video sharing sites they were mentioning and call them out and see if they ban me. I'm sure many have. And I'm sure the Fringe aren't going to like that very much. But hey, it's called freedom of speech and they don't censor people. Well, actually they do censor people. The Fringe do. If you're not part of their delusional mindset, they are going to censor you. They're going to delete your comments. They are going to block you. And uh, if they don't, before they do, they're going to probably call you a spook spy, an agent, an informant, an operator, or a shill of the insert that shit theory here, or the government, or corporation. Could mean any corporation. Could be one that backs a grocery store, a bank, uh, an automotive group. How many fucking corporations are there? There's giant and there's little. But the most obvious ones are Big Pharma. Well, you know, I don't give a fuck. Nobody is paid to go out there. You know, I should... I did ask them if they were paid to get out there and they don't say a word. Maybe I should challenge them the next time I'm down there to film and time-lapse it. Because, I, you know, I, I, I always do a head count. I always do a head count to tell how many are really there considering how much they like to hyperinflate and lie to the public about their numbers. I always go there to do a head count. 
I uh, yes I I do wear a mask because these fuckers do not distance. They do not wear a mask. And last but not least, they will be having <laughs> They will be having the very last laugh once they catch COVID nineteen. Sorry about that. A rash sorry about that deranged laugh I got from Joker. Trust me, I love that movie. Uh it was pretty good, but it's also pretty sad, too. But, you know, that's another thing. They will be having the very last laugh once they do catch COVID-19 or any infectious disease, for that matter, that's got no vaccine associated with it. Yeah. That's gonna, that's gonna fucking suck. And they can't blame the government for poisoning them. Because that's what they'll try and do. You know, you know what the fringe are. They will. Don't doubt that. And, uh, yeah. What can you do? Nothing really. You can't reason with delusional, right? Nope. I realize the focus ring was off, but whatever. You cannot at all, ever, reason with delusional. Irrational. Bad shit. There's no fucking point. Telling them to seek psychiatric or professional help? Good luck with that. Good fucking luck with that. They stare at you as if you're from Mars. Anyways, that's about all. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share the video. Feel free to subscribe. And peace out. And here at the Fringe, don't do your own research. If they tell you to do it, don't. That just goes against all the precautions and guidelines that we're currently facing. A pandemic. A fucking real pandemic. Cheers. And if you're with the Fringe, seriously, seek help. If you've been reading a little bit into it, but you're not fully deluded by it, I suggest staying clear away from it. Clear your browser history. Seriously. You don't want to be trapped. Otherwise, you're going to end up being so fucked over mentally, and you're going to end up sometime around losing your sanity that you won't be able to think rationally anymore. That's a forewarning. Peace.